everyone. Today what we're going to do is pour on this plate. Um, this is going to be a pretty quick video. I did pour on a plate before. Um, I haven't sealed it yet, so I'll probably show it to you uh, at some point, as well as this one. Uh, the point is, is that I'm going to pour on the back side of it, and you'll still be able to eat on the front side of it, and hopefully it has an awesome design on it. So, what I've done already is just cleaned off this plate with alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and I am going to start off with this uh, 14 karat gold that I have from mixing paint yesterday, and I'm going to also add to that some white uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylics that I mixed with water and Floetrol, and I'm also going to make this red and green. So, just going to go ahead and kind of layer these colors in here. I don't really know how much paint I need. The last time I did it, I poured it over a canvas, but most of the paint didn't really go onto the canvas, so I ended up having to fill a cup to finish the canvas anyway. So, this time I decided to forego the canvas and see what happens here. And I think I probably could be doing a better job of layering these. I was going to use my Mixed Media Girl split cups, but yesterday I also did a bunch of cleaning of all of my art supplies and it's not quite ready to be used yet. What I do like about it is I right now have some water in it and I've just been kind of rinsing it out and all of the dried paint that is caught to the sides is coming off. Um, I'm not going to be really worried if it all doesn't come off because it will be fine to just pour paint on top of it. Um, but most of it is coming off so I thought I would just let it sit for a little bit longer. And see what we get with just using this and then plus I could use that leftover gold. There wasn't very much in there but might as well just kind of see if I can use it up. This is a 12 ounce cup. I definitely don't need all of this. Um, I think I'll put just a little bit more red and green and then I'll go ahead and pour over the plate. Uh, maybe just a little bit more white for good measure. All right. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of pour on this plate and see what happens. I will need to tilt this around a little bit just to be sure I get full coverage. Mm, here comes that gold. I think it looks pretty awesome in there. All right, now I'm gonna let it run for just a moment. And then we'll tilt it. I got this plate from the dollar store. The dollar store has all kinds of awesome things. You can go in there and figure out what you want to do and what kind of project. All right, so really I don't need to do too much tilting, just kinda pushing it along right there.
I do have it sitting on a glass jar underneath just because a glass jar is more stable than the plastic cups I usually use to stand my stuff on. So anyway, that's going to keep running. Um, I'll probably periodically come along and run my finger across the bottom of it to try to catch some of that paint. Um, I will need to clean off the other side where the paint does drip, uh, but that should be no problem. It could, should come off with soap and water. And what I'll do is I'll let this sit for a few weeks and then I will work on sealing it. I think I'm going to be getting some um, dishwasher, safe, dishwasher safe Mod Podge to put a couple layers on the outside and uh, see what happens after that cures. See what else I might need to do if I need to spray it with some sort of finish. Um, I don't know that I want to finish it with resin, but that might be a possibility too if, if I have to. Um, anyway, uh, here you go. I think it looks pretty awesome. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.